What's going on guys? Welcome back to Camping with Big Country. I'm your host, Big Country, and today we're going to be doing a little maintenance on our truck. We're going to be doing an oil change, and in the next video it's going to be a fuel filter change on, I believe, 17 through 2020, 6-7 uh, power strokes. It's very important to keep your maintenance up to date and keep everything going, especially with those uh, CP4 pumps that these 6-7 power strokes have. When you, you neglect that fuel filter, you're going to be in for a, a uh, very costly costly repair so um, stay tuned for that next video and um, bear with me today it's the first video I've ever fully recorded on a GoPro so hopefully we don't have any mistakes or mess ups or uh, we'll see how it goes but um, until then uh, let's get started and I'm also gonna go over the cost of everything today with you guys you know what it cost me to actually do my oil myself rather than take it to a dealership so stay tuned for that let's get started uh, you need a 16 millimeter socket for your oil drain plug, um, oil filter wrench, I got some gloves because I don't want to get too dirty, um, a big funnel, picked this up at Lowe's this morning because my other funnel was dirty and I didn't want that dirt going in the truck. need a FL251S oil filter, I got this at um, Advanced Auto Parts, I always go Motorcraft with Ford. Um, and down here, I'm, I'm running a uh, Rotella T6 5W40 synthetic. Um, basically, my plan is, because this is 14 quarts, the power stroke takes 13 quarts. So once I get to the oil filter change portion, I'm going to fill the filter up with this. And then pour a quart into the bucket here. And then pour the rest of this into the truck. So that way I know that I'm... I didn't put too many quarts into the truck so and of course your little catch can over there <sighs> ain't nothing to it but to do it This is a drip drain in here. Move to the next step. What I'm gonna do is move this, keep that drip in it, move this under this filter here, like this. This thing's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this bag on here. I got three and a half gallons here. If you look here, it says three and a half gallons times four is 14 quarts. Right there. So this truck takes 13. So all I'm gonna do is uh, pour out a quart into the old bucket here and then fill the filter up, put the new filter on there after I clean that area and then pour the rest in the motor. So that's the plan. Let's get to it. Make sure you guys put oil on the, the ring here. Uh, or you ain't getting this thing off next time you change the oil. I'll tell you what, that wasn't too bad. I love how these trucks have the oil filter right there next to the oil pan. It makes sense. And my F-150, um, they it's all up in the engine bay. And, by the way, that's for sale if anybody wants to buy it. <laughs> I doubt anybody will on YouTube, off YouTube. But uh, yeah, let's put oil in this thing and crank her up.
fuel system. Check out my next video for that. Or I should say fuel filters. So I guess that's part of the fuel system. I'm gonna go ahead and check the oil. Uh, should have had enough time to get down to the bottom and settle. And we'll check it, see what the levels look like, and fire the truck up. clip's going to be in both videos, uh, the oil change and the fuel filter change uh, videos, um, because I want to go over how much it costs to maintain, you know, do that simple maintenance on this truck in order to prevent a $10,000 bill later on down the road. Um, so you guys all saw how relatively easy it was to change the oil, the oil filter, and also the fuel filters. Both of them were super easy to change. Both of them were super easy to get to. And uh, for the fuel filters, it cost me $61.23. And um, that is with a military discount. So I think it'd be about $65 or so uh, for your, your normal um, person going in there and buying it. Uh, for the oil, for the Rotella, five, two and a half gallons and one gallon jugs, I paid $110. That's it, $110 for three and a half gallons of oil. Sounds like a lot, but in retrospect, it's not. If you take this truck to the dealership, they're gonna charge you $250, $300 to do oil change. And I ain't about that life. Um, for the oil filter, I paid $22.56. And I will flip you guys around here and show you guys my receipts. Everything was OEM, there's the oil filter receipt. 22 bucks. Here's my oil from Advanced Auto Parts. 110 bucks. And uh, that was with military discount, but that only subtracted 8 bucks. And then my um, fuel filter, OEM from Advanced Auto Parts, with a military discount is $61. So in total, I think it's like 190 something dollars. So less than 200 bucks. And I replaced the oil filters. Or sorry, the oil filter, both fuel filters, um, the whole nine. If, you, if I took it to the dealership, I guarantee you they charge me five hundred dollars. So I just want everyone to know that it's super easy to do. Uh, this is my first time ever doing it on this truck, and I made a video on it. That's how confident I was that I could do it. So now all I got left to do is take it for a little test spin, and um, I'm gonna take my oil canister over to Advanced Auto and dump all my oil and diesel into their little uh their thing in the back their grease bin so all right well, guys that wraps this video up uh for anybody that wants to know how to reset their oil life in their truck all you got to do is go to settings and i'll flip you guys around you just go to settings and then advanced settings and then you're gonna go to vehicle and then uh there's a oil life reset you just hold the okay and it'll reset your oil life and it'll stop telling you that it's time to change your oil. But anyways, that wraps it up. Um, like and subscribe, Big Country out.